Well, well can I sit down for a second yeah, before go I ahead. have to sing it? Yeah, tell, yeah, tell us it. about it. Where did this song no. come from? It's such um, emotion, such power. I don't know. Um, when I when I wrote the album, well, yeah. when I was making the album, um, I didn't write the music. The music was written by a friend of mine, uh, Hinek Toman, mm -hmm. who um, mainly does uh, a band called Support Lesbians. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've known each other for we've known each other for I don't know how many years, but yeah. for quite a long time. And when I was trying to do an album, because I'm not a musician, because mm -hmm. I don't play any instrument or anything like that, I didn't know how I was going to make music to make an album. Yeah, I understand. So we we got together with Hinek, and and it, actually it's a really good writing team with him because uh, he was just like, well, I have a bunch of stuff here, and he just played something for me, and he's like. What do you think? And I'd say, yeah, I like that. Mm, no, I don't like that so much. Or maybe this, or maybe that. And it kind of worked out well wow. that he had so much material, yeah. and I and every time he would play something for me that would really catch me, yeah. I would immediately find some kind that of. The song is so positive. Well, that's the whole thing. I I wanted to make it positive because um, uh, I was at a point where things were not so positive, yeah, and I, I know that when you well, they, we say in America, we say you get lemons, make lemonade. Some people don't like lemonade. Some people are allergic to lemons, but whatever. This is true. <laughs> the whole point is that I think you attract what you give out. Okay. It's the whole kind of karma yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. What you give out, you get back. So if I'm just going to spend all of my time being negative exactly. and uh, well, then I'm just going to get negativity back. And mm. I really was trying to get past this point of negativity and try to be more positive and try to get to a positive place. So I wanted to write a love song that wasn't, oh, baby, baby, I love you <laughs> so much. So much Justin Bieber I love here. you, baby. No, I didn't want to write that song. Let's give it up. Because love, love is a great thing. Um, it's not always about being in love, but love in, in itself yeah, exactly. is a great and positive thing. So I wanted to write a love song where you would get this positive feeling and you would understand mm. that it's about love without it being about, oh, baby, baby, I love you. Is my body too bootylicious for you, baby? So, <laughs> well, can I yes. ask you a question about this? Remember that first day that we met? Uh, we just connected so well. And this whole positive vibe. And you talked about getting back what you give out. And yeah. I, I see that. I see that in you because you're, you're a single mom. You're yes. working hard, supporting a family, trying to make a career, an album. You travel. You drove all the way from Zlane tonight. I what, had a driver. What is your secret? <laughs> or, can, can you tell us about this idea you're talking about, the positivity? Um, I don't know what my secret is. Um, I just... I just try to do. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very hard on myself. Really? Yes. Um, most people know how to say no, which I have a hard time with. I ch it's like I really want everyone to be happy. That's the whole positive thing going on. But I'm also very hard on myself. So where I would excuse someone else, I would not excuse myself. Uh -huh. I always feel like I have to do more, 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 yeah. more. But. I'm always very open to the idea that, okay, well, well, he just couldn't do that today because he had a whole lot of stuff to do. Mm. But I never, I never do that for myself, and probably I should do that more. Yeah, yeah. But the whole point about being positive, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, my children. Um, I was reading them a bedtime story. There were these little Miss and Mister mm -hmm. Men books, and there was Mister Happy and Mister Grumpy. <laughs> I think Mr. Grumpy drives my bus. If you're watching, it's bus 226 from Depot Hostivarish to Dolly Nechalupa, yeah. It, it may be yeah. the case, um, yeah. but I, Mr. Mr. Uh, happy lived in this land where everybody was just grumpy. And he was just so happy. He had no clue what was going on. He was... Um, was it Haya or Dolly Nechalupa? Uh, no, Mr. Grumpy, uh, no, Mr. Happy basically lived in a grumpy town. Uh -huh. But the problem was that Mr. Happy was Upili Vedla. Uh -huh. Mr. Happy, Mr. Happy, they'd say, oh, Mr. Happy, it's time for lunch. And he would start to make breakfast. <laughs> or, Mr. Happy, can you please help me, you know, bring my boat back in? I've been out fishing, so can you help me 
pull the boat to shore and he would push it out. So he'd do everything <laughs> backwards. So he was like, uh, and you know, he just had a hard time and he went for a walk and he got to some place where, oh wait, no, that was not Mr. Happy, that was Mr. Confused. That's me today, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. Mr. Happy lived in Grumpy Land where he was trying to help an old lady cross the street. And then that she, was Medea, the old lady. Right. Yes, and, yes. and she tried to beat him up because he's like, don't try to take my bag. And he's like, I'm just trying to help. And he's walking down the street and he has a smile on his face because he's happy because he's yeah. Mr. Happy. And he's like, what's wrong with you? Are you normal? Say no more. <laughs> you know, so they were not happy with him. And then he just decided, he was so sad about everyone being grumpy and not being happy. Mm -hmm. He took a long walk and he walked so far and he didn't realize it. He was in another place and he was in happy land. Yeah. And he just kept being happy no matter how negative everyone was being with him. He just kept at it. He just knew that's just who he was and he just mm -hmm. kept being happy. And he went and he went and he went and he ended up in happy land. And he actually said good morning to someone and they said good morning back. He's like, wait a minute. Where am I? Don't need me halupi. And they were like, well, you're in happy land. And he was, oh, he was very happy. So the whole point is, I don't know, I don't know, the point of that story was like, Let's not waste our time being grumpy. And when grumpy people and negative people come around us and yeah. try to like hit us with their negative energy, we got to keep strong totally. with the positive because uh, otherwise they can very easily drown you in their negativity. But yeah. it's, not very, it's not difficult to be negative. Mm. It's harder to be positive, mm. but you feel better about it. It's kind of like exercise, yeah. right? I mean, who wants to like have to go however many times to the gym and work out? Mm. It's hard. It's not like sitting on the couch mm -hmm. eating some Cheetos and watching Housewives of whatever county. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's hard. But then after you do all that workout, going in the fit centrum and everything, you feel better, right? And then you look good too, right? But anyway, <laughs> point is you feel good. You feel better about yourself. And that's the whole same thing with positivity, I think. Well, let me ask you, before, yes. before one, one more question before you yes. jump to your next song. If, if you could choose one word to say who is Tanya Graves, what would that word be? Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one word? Okay, well, five. Five. Yes, I'm Uketsan. I go, Piet Slova. Piet on Piet. Only five. Moshna Shes, Nebo Sadom. Takim Lubim Chesky, Alan Noni Dobri. I also don't speak Czech very well. I just, I just, you know, fake it till you make it, right? Um, <laughs> No, um, I don't know. Five words? Okay, okay. Uh, Just how would you describe yourself? Energetic. I think energetic is the, the most diplomatic mm -hmm. and accurate word to describe myself. <laughs> I am here. I am so tired. As I said uh, yesterday, I was training with... Um, with, uh, with the Zlin hockey team and, and Petr Chayanek. I was shooting all day. I got in an airplane. I got in a car. I came here. I slept maybe five hours, but still, wow. I'm going and going and going and going like that. Girl, what's that? Strong. What's that? What's that battery? That that little bunny he's playing on that. Energizer. <laughs> Energizer. Yeah, I think I'm. I think in a past life I was him. <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm tired as I don't know what. But still, I really wanted to be here. So I hope. I really hope. You don't mind that I'm so tired. No. But I wore nice shoes for you. <laughs> I love those shoes, girl. Thank you. You are working those things. So, I don't know. I want to tell you, uh, we're sticking with that whole positive vibe yeah, and yeah. theme. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the, the, the next song that I was going to sing. Okay. The next song is called 39 Reasons. Oh, it's, you know, you, we have birthdays coming up. So ours is yes. only 39 Reasons, right? Um, we'll stick with that, okay? We won't, uh, we won't go there. You know, don't ask, don't tell. We're actually one month <laughs> apart. Yeah. So, um, I'm yeah. Actually, so I'm 30, the old man, though. No, honey, you're not. <laughs> so, 39 Reasons Only is 39. about, it's a song that I wrote. Um, it's a song about getting rid of everything that's bad in your life. Mm. Whether it is a person, a situation, um, a pair of shoes, I don't know. 
if it's bad, you need to get rid of it. And this song mm. is basically about being happy, uh, about or realizing that it's good to be positive and good things right. will come from it. So get on, go on, get on, get along. Amen. Bad stuff. You go, girl. This is my favorite. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Just get on, go, get on, get along. Just get on, go, get on, get along. Don't wanna hear that old tired song. So get on, go, get on, get along. Don't wanna know where you're going. There's a new wind blowing. That's for sure. I'm coming down from the covers. Got a world to discover without child. And I got 39 reasons I could sing the blues They should all disappear with your body the news If you think you're gonna leave here in my fancy car I took the keys and registration so you won't get far Oh my baby, I know it upsets ya But you got to get gone, get getting along Now get on gone, get on, get along Just get on gone, get on, get along Erase your name from my mobile phone Don't bother calling me anymore And when you run out of money Don't come begging me, honey That's all done Cause I'm the queen of my castle And I don't need your hassle Just move on And I got 39 reasons I could sing the blues I'm gonna kick them to the curb With my dancing shoes on to drive around the city in my fancy car Have a party with my girlfriends at my favorite bar Oh my baby, I know it upsets you But you got to get gone, get get it along Get on, go, get get 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 along Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get it along. Thirty-nine reasons I could sing the blues. They sure don't disappear when you buy the evening news. If you think you're gonna leave here in my fancy car, I took the keys and registration so you won't get far. Oh my baby, I know it upsets you, but you got to get on, get get it along. And I got thirty-nine. Drive around the city in my fancy car And have a party with my girlfriend at my favorite bar Oh my baby, I know it upsets ya But you got to get going, get getting along Get going bye bye baby You got to go now baby Get going bye bye baby Wow. Thank you. Wow.